our very first magician on the open stage, who I am told is awesome, says so in his bio, Cameron Rivers. Is that Mike? There we go. No pressure at all. Okay. How's it going, everyone? How's everyone doing? That was sad. Let's try that again. How's everyone doing? Fantastic. Fantastic. It's very bright up here, so I'm not going to be able to see everyone. All right. I, did, I just want to share one thing with you guys tonight. Uh, my favorite trick in the world. It's also the oldest trick in magic. It's the mystery of the cups and the balls. Now, you might, as you might have guessed, it uses one little red ball and three brass cups. And I need a volunteer. You can stay where you are, but I just need someone to help out as the uh, voice of the audience, as it were. Anyone? Any volunteers? You, sir, in the green. What's your name? Eric. Eric? All right, Eric, you like games? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. This is a very easy game. All you have to do is follow this little red ball. You think you can do it? Yeah. Excellent. So with a wave and a tap, it's going to jump, disappear, and jump under one of these three cups, Eric. Now, Eric, it can be any cup you want, any cup at all, any cup you think that it might be under. Just take a wild guess. Now, Eric, I don't want you to feel like I'm forcing you to pick a cup or influencing your decision in any way, shape, or form. So just go ahead and yell out any cup you want, any cup you think that little red ball is under. The one on the right? My right or your right? <laughs> My right. So this cup here? Just a random choice, Eric. I don't know why you would pick that one. I mean, you're right, of course. You know, give him a round of applause. That was a good guess. That's enough. But Eric, I'm a nice guy, right? Yeah. Fantastic. We haven't even met. All right. So I didn't want you to lose. So Eric, you could have picked this cup or you could have picked this cup, and it didn't really matter to me. I'll show you how it works. You take a little red ball, put it in your hand, give it a tap with the magic wand, and it disappears. Take the second ball, give it a little spin and a wave. Gone. The little third ball, Eric, the third ball is the one you're going to watch, because if you blink, you're going to miss it. Here we go. Ready? One, two. Oh, my God. Look at that guy back there. Great. <laughs> Not buying it. All right. Here we go, Eric. One, two, three. Just like that, it vanishes. All of them jumping right back under their respective cups to a uh, furious round of applause. Wow. They caught their cue. Now, Eric, I know what you're saying. You're saying this really isn't fair. I've got three balls, three cups. I've got a funny hat on. I'm talking real fast really bright up here. You can't quite see me. I can't see you. So I'm going to make things a little bit easier for you. How's that sound? All right. More fair? Yeah. Sure. We're going to get rid of a cup. We're going to get rid of a ball, just like that. All you have to focus on are these two cups and these two balls. Now, here we go. Eric, can you count? Yes. That was some serious hesitation there. What's your name right next to him? Elizabeth. Elizabeth you're going to have to help him, OK? Eric, if I take this ball and put it here, and I take this ball and put it here, and give it a tap, how many balls are in this cup, Eric? Just one. Just one. Fantastic. Very good. How many balls are in this cup, Eric? No, two. I'm cheating. It's all right, Eric. We'll try again. We'll try again. All right? Eric, if I take and put one ball under this cup and one ball under this cup, how many balls are under this cup, Eric? One. You sure? Two. One, Eric. Come on. Just, just one. I'm not cheating you. I'm not cheating you. One ball. There we go. Now, Eric, how many balls are under this cup? Three. No, two. I am cheating you. All right, Eric. We're going to try one more time. You get one last chance. One ball under here. One ball under here. How many balls are under this cup, Eric? Two. How many? No, Eric, there are no balls in this cup. I'm cheating. It's all right, Eric. How many balls are in this cup? One. How many? Two. One, three. 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 There we go, Eric. Ladies and gentlemen. That's all right. Eric, I'll tell you what. I'm going to cut you a break, man, because if anyone needed it tonight. We're going to go back to the original game we were playing with the t one ball and three cups. OK? There we go. Perfectly clean. This is much more fair, right? All right. Now, Eric, here we go. I'm going to take this ball, I'm going to vanish it, and it's going to appear under one of the cups, and all you have to do is guess which cup. All right? Now, I do have to warn you that earlier we were playing a game that was rigged in your favor. You couldn't lose. Uh, now we're going to play a more realistic game where there's a possibility you might win. Your hopes and your sense of self might be dashed against the jagged rocks of reality and swept out into a sea of loneliness while being eaten by a shark named Despair. You think you can handle that? Fantastic. All right, give him a round of applause. Come on. All right, Eric. Here we go. Little red ball. 
nothing up my sleeves, a wave and a tap, and it's going to vanish. And Eric is going to jump under one of these cups. Now, Eric, it can be any cup you want, any cup at all. Just go ahead and take a wild guess as to which cup the little red ball is under. Now, Eric, I don't want you to think I'm influencing you or trying to force you to pick a cup or anything. It can be any cup, absolutely any cup. Which one? My right, you sure? Do you want to change your mind? Elizabeth says yes. Th this right. Not, not this one. This one? Eric, I'm sorry. Eric, that's a tomato. What were you thinking, man? Now, had you picked this cup, that would have also been a tomato. Of course, had you picked this cup, it would have been a tomato. And uh, all we're left with, really, potatoes. That's it, Eric. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cameron Rivers. Fruits and vegetables are escaping.